From here, we're going to take our feet out slightly wider now and find our squat stance. We're going to work down into garland pose. So finding that slightly wider stance, we're going to inhale to lift the hands up, palms together at the top. And as we exhale, keeping that chest nice and high, we're going to come down into the bottom of our squat. So you're going to have that nice upright torso position and you're aiming to get your heels toward the floor. You could also, if you're in this position like I am, start to work your toes in more so they point more forwards. That again will help improve your ankle mobility. So go to wherever you can right now that keeps your um, torso upright, even if that's with your heels off the floor. Then work into the heels, getting them down to the floor, and then start to work getting those toes in line, pointing straight ahead. So once you've found wherever you're comfortable, we'll just spend a bit of time here. Probably you can feel this in your hips. You can rock from side to side, stretch those toes out, get into the ankle joints, get into the knees. And then we're just going to take the hands to the floor. So left hand is gonna stay on the floor, inhale to lift and twist with the right hand up towards the ceiling. Exhale, release, right hand to the floor, inhale to lift and twist with the left hand up towards the ceiling. Exhale, release, reset each time in the center. And we're just going to do two more each side, just moving with your own breath in your own time. and then come all the way back to centre. So find yourself back in garland pose. We're going to inhale as we come all the way up, shake the legs out, 